Hello, this is, uh, Knowledge Nuke. Well, technically, second, but I'm gonna consider this my first. I'm gonna be talking about an interesting subject and the means of liquid metal reactors or salt reactors. Not brush, salt reactors. Well, there goes my lights, but. Anyway, salt reactors, there's actually two kinds, interestingly, which was a very weird result when I looked it up, looked it up. The first result was MSRs. They're reactors that have a, the, the salt is not the coolant, actually, it's actually the fuel, you know, plutonium and uranium, whatever is mixed in or dissolved into the salt itself, meaning both, so physically the salt is both a cooler and a fuel. And then you have actually reactors that just use salt by itself, or just sodium chloride. Which is actually pretty practical given the, the high boiling and high melting point of salt. Which, honestly, is a great thing. Oh, well, so that's not the most important thing in a nuclear reactor, mostly for the fact of that the most important thing is a is a ma it doesn't mean necessarily the melting point is not the most important temp necessarily. The most important temp most important temp is the boiling point because after the boiling point usually it starts becoming a gas which could become a problem. And by itself, that, like a red brief form, yes, Wikipedia, yes, even though Wikipedia is not the best source, even though they do cite the sources, I do like to go with it because it's a lot better sometimes, and it's a lot easier than diving deep into the web, but, but, basically, it's challenging to say Basically, why is the boiling point important? Well, boiling point usually after that is gas, and gases are not what you really, really want in the reactor. Why is that? It's because if gases build up, it results in pressure. What happens to pressure? Well, pressure wants to release itself. After a while, that pressure is going to be built up. Sooner or later, wanting to be released violently, which could result in problems with anything and yes it's interesting to hear what kind of fuel what they used before in reactors and what they're still using in reactors they actually do have gas cooled reactors which is interesting to me because i didn't know gas was going to be heated i only knew the air the physical space well why did i not know that because that's how heating works because heating is worked you works by you know heating the air you know air is a general t a general air air because air could be referred to oxygen well i'm not going to get off topic but necessarily speaking reactors nuclear reactors are a very interesting subject it's stuff like that so pretty much nuclear reactors with liquid metal, but apparently liquid, well, liquid metal sounds like a really practical source because it's it's used in submarines. Apparently, it's just that some metals are not very well suited because of the gases they released, or you know, spontaneous combustion when released into brought into the environment of air. Now, necessarily speaking, we the. The, the, um, it's so, in a way, it's kind of sad to see how me the media just says nuclear, nuclear reactor, instead of trying to broad, because it becomes a broad term thrown around just as common as the word truck, or vehicle, or car, really because it is a broad term in the media, they don't, Care saying what equipment or what type. 
Yes, that sounds extreme information that nobody is really going to understand, but it's important to understand because people become scared and afraid of nuclear power. When the atom, when nuclear power ain't that dangerous, unless a idiots can handle it. Well, pet, well, you see, by that I mean, like a gun store, if an idiot runs a gun store, obviously bad stuff's gonna happen. Just like computers and gun stores that can run more efficient background checks, same thing with technology can help in, in computers. So necessarily speaking, I would go into an example like, which I have thought of before, but it's just not a very appropriate or good example for reasons. Now, necessarily speaking, Nuclear power is a controversial subject of power, and it's kind of sad sometimes to see it being thrown around uh, like that. To me, my only my fa personal favorite re research power sources are nuclear and solar. Really, that's my only two, for the primary reasons of they're actually efficient. Wind turbines can be really deep down in the list, even though there's nothing on the list. And I'm referring to, yes, like I was talking, even though it's kind of ironic that I was talking about nuclear reactor, nuclear reactor or nuclear power being thrown around. I'm just using this generally because I don't know all the fuels, I don't know all the coolants, the problems with them, I'm not no expert. But it's interesting because so, I th so, pa new, well, I don't know how to end this off, but power is power. I say nuclear and solar is the best.